Can we start with how we're feeling after this one? Oh, uh, we feel, I feel great. <laughs> I think this is a great win for us. Yes. Carl, start with your silly. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's almost, this is a hard one to talk about at the end because the, the game had so many different segments in it. Uh, and, you know, if, if I start with the first segment, you know, I thought we started off rattled, like you couldn't catch the ball, couldn't dribble it. We were just a little on edge. And I thought Lisa came in and really settled us down, got some easy baskets off attack. So I thought, you know, her coming in and, and making the impact that she did right when she got in the game helped everything just smooth out for us. Uh, you know, after that, you know, we were able to extend the lead even without making free throws or many threes. When they went to the zone, Rose started hitting threes. That helped extend the lead. Uh, then we were hurt a little bit because Ty pulled her groin and she was out for an extended period of time and when she was out we were getting crushed on the boards. So when we were able to get Ty back that's another thing that settled us down and and uh, got us back in it but you know you know Kentucky you know they're a top 20 team uh, they're not gonna just lay down they came at us uh, we had a I think we were up 14, 13, mm -hmm. 13 or 14. Where the, you know, gets down to two. What I like is, you know, when we call timeout, uh, you know, they're pulling together. They're talking about, hey, we got to block out. We know what we got to do. Instead of, you know, a lot of times teams will get really tight at that moment. Uh, I think our experience and having kids in the program now, uh, they have a confidence that they can do it. Ask you about a couple of plays in particular before I forget about them. Uh, okay. When Erica missed uh, those two free throws with 54 seconds left, and Natalie pulls down that rebound, that was freaking huge, wasn't it? Yes. It was huge. It was yes. huge. And uh, you know, we it it was kind of weird because at the beginning of the game, you know, we were struggling with taking care of the ball, so we were shooting free throws. So I called all the kids over and I said, "Listen, listen, let's calm down. We're going to be fine." Da 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 da. And then they stop. They start getting back for every free throw, even though I didn't tell them to. So we had to go, hey, let's, you know, we're missing free throws. Ty, you can get some of these. And boy, did she come up with a big one. Another one was uh, the China taking a charge from Murray there. That was huge. I mean, that was a close call. And, uh, you know, we had, a, we had a, a couple that went the other way that we thought might have been charges. And then that one... You know, China does a great job. China and Gratigan take a ton of charges for us. They're willing to put their body on the line to help the team, and that was definitely a definitely a huge play. And then the play you're leaving out is ties three. Yeah, oh, yeah. when yeah Gratigan passes up a wide open three <laughs> because she sees Ty open, I guess, and Ty <laughs> just knocked it down. That was huge. Carl, I'm going to one more, then I'm going to relinquish for at least a minute. But okay. uh, I was here in 2007. You last were. time you played a ranked team here. Who Florida was Florida State, number 19. Oh, okay. 93-53, a little different. Yeah. Times are a little different, aren't they now, Carl? They are. That was our first game ever in Division I. Uh, and that team, that team was a new team because uh, we had gone to the Division II National Championship, but we had uh, lost some great players. And... You know, at the end of that year, that team was good enough that we made the NIT and then we lost at Florida by five, I think. Uh, so we made great strides. And likewise, what I'll be talking about the, with the team is there are plenty of things that we didn't do great. So can we have the mentality of, yeah, that's a big win, but we need to get better. Uh, so hopefully we have the right kind of leadership on the team that we understand there were a lot of missed blockouts. There were a lot of sets that we were going to run that would have really been uh, were putting us in an advantage, and we ran them wrong. Things like that that we're going to have to uh, correct here shortly. Rose, you had um, you guys seem to be able to drive in with relative ease at times throughout the game. Were you expecting those lanes to be as open as they were? 
Um, yes, with um, good technique and um, shot fake, and uh, my teammates keeping their uh, defender moving. Yeah, I expected it. And now uh, with a minute to go, you hit a, you got the two free throws to make it a two possession game. Um, as a as a team, you guys hadn't been uh, shooting free throws particularly well. What was, uh, but you didn't look like you had any worry at all. What's that confidence like? Oh, I um. I take pride in my free throws. I practice it uh, before practice, after practice. So like I had no worries. Tired, just talking about the three pointer. Mm -hmm. We talked about that before the season started, been working very hard on that. Did you look like you didn't hesitate? Did you, did you feel good about taking that shot? Yes, I did. I was open, the clock was winding down and we needed a three, so I took it. And coach has been on me about taking threes and practice and it was just my time to shoot and be confident about it. And I want to ask you about the rebound. The uh, you know they're by yourself, and you get that offensive rebound. I mean that's, that's some pretty fun stuff. What's uh, what's it like to be against taller players and by yourself there, and then you pull that thing down? You had to feel proud of yourself at the moment. I mean, yeah, I was proud of myself, but I mean, I'm in there to rebound. Like obviously, no one else was in there, and they tried boxing me out, but I mean, I just got it over. <laughs> That early momentum shift, you know, there were some huge drives from Lisa, but also on the defense, we had some steals. Taylor had a couple of steals, I think. Can you talk a little bit about the defense and how huge that was in a matchup like this? Well, uh, one thing, bringing up uh, Gratijan, is I, I, I feel like she's one of the most underrated players that we've ever had in our program because she's not a huge scorer. She's a great shooter, but she does so many other things for us that often go unnoticed. So I'm glad that you brought it up. The, the steals today, she plays great defense. She can guard multiple pos positions. She's our best screener and cutter. So, you know, even when she's not scoring, you'll notice she's playing the most minutes because uh, of all the other things that she does for us. And then... Uh, so the defensive plays definitely were key to getting the lead early. But if we're talking about defense, Rose guarded their best player, and she did an exceptional job. This kid, this kid is an amazing shooter. She's shooting 57% from three, which is unheard of. And, and she, the kid made a three, but Rose wasn't on her at the time. Rose did a great job making everything tough for her, and uh, that gave everybody else a chance to – you know, contribute on the defensive end as well. And, and Rose, when, when Rosemary, when they were, uh, see, I know she likes Rosemary. Well, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> when, when they were kind of coming back there for a bit, you still were maintaining, you know, two, four point lead in there, but you, you were really knocking down some threes there. You, you felt really good going through that little stretch there, I assume. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, w I had all anger because they were, were kept, like you said, they were like short. And I, the only thought process I had is like we have to get back up and we have to come together because like we need we need this win and we want it so. Um, Coach, for you're just the second ranked opponent you beat, but to do it at home does it make it just a little special? Yeah, well, I mean we all we we try to get these games in here as often as we can. Anytime you know a big name school is willing to come here, we try to schedule the game because. You know, one, you know, we think we can compete, but secondly, we want good events for Southwest Florida and the community and to get people excited about women's basketball. So, uh, you know, this was, you know, we thank Kentucky for being willing to come down here and play the game, and, and they know that we're a good team and, and things can happen. So the fact that they're willing to schedule like that uh, we definitely appreciate it, and I thought it was a, a great game. Well, I didn't make it easy on yourselves to get more games like this in the future, though, after tonight. <laughs> no, I mean, it, it, it gets tougher. We had a stretch uh, where we could get some of these games, and, you know, we beat Florida, LSU, Indiana, Michigan State, and, and it kind of dried up. But uh, the truth is, like, we are a great RPI game. So some of these schools like Kentucky, it's like, hey, we'll go on the road, we win. This is going to be a big win for our RPI. And, uh, you know, they, they almost pulled it off. Fortunately, we made just enough plays at the end. Carl, good to see you again. Um, 
particularly in that first half, uh, Kentucky's one of the biggest teams that you, that you face, and it seemed like that you were the bigger team out there. You were you were taking it to the hole on them on offense, on defense. Their bigs were having a hell of a time trying to do anything against y'all. Uh, what do you attribute that to? Was it man, just wanting it, wanting it more than them, or? Um, no, I don't think. I, I mean, I wouldn't say that we wanted a game more than they did. They were. They were coming at us hard. It just took a team effort on the boards, and we had to be willing to be physical. Uh, you know, in the first half, I thought we did a pretty good job on the boards. In the second half, you know, we got a little war- worn down, and they kept coming at us, and we gave up more second shot opportunities in the second half, which helped them uh, close the gap on us. Uh, a lot of the second shots ended up being points. So, uh, you know, we, we understood what the game was going to be about. If, you're, if you weren't going to be physical and you weren't going to be in there and scrap, uh, you know, we don't have the opportunity to beat Kentucky if we're not willing to do that. And um, how do you avoid, you know, any kind of letdown on Sunday, even if it's an NIA program, but how do you just well, move from this? Well, I mean, the last time, this is how things are. The last time we played an NAIA program was not too long ago, and... <laughs> The game was really close throughout, uh, and we got out-rebounded, and we got out-played uh, for a lot of the game. So for us, it isn't I, – I don't want us to be the team like, okay, we get up for Kentucky. I, the, I always think the greatest programs, you don't – you can't tell the score when they play. Uh, you can't tell the opponent when they play. They just have a way that they do things, and it's intense, and it's executed at a high level, and there's technique, and they always have the mindset that they're going to outwork the other team. So that's what we're trying to instill here. I don't know that we've, we're have necessarily there, but that'll be something for Sunday. Any other questions? Good. Thanks, guys.